hello 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 my name is Amul in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Ruby on Microsoft Windows operating system this is Microsoft Windows 10 if you have Windows 7 88.1 you should have no issue downloading and installing watching this video so before we get started please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and like the video if you like the content share the video with your friends and colleagues so let's get started this is a Ruby installer's website that lets you download Ruby and DevKit on your Microsoft operating system. This website is Microsoft Windows specific. So let's go ahead and download it and install it on Microsoft Windows 10. So go ahead and fire up your preferred browser and go to rubyinstaller.org and hit on this red big button that says download and this will take you to this downloads page. Before we get started, you want to make sure that you know your system architecture type. So my system type is 64-bit. You can go ahead and open this window by clicking the window key and pause break button on the right top above the numeric key. So now you know your system type. Since you've got two editions of Ruby, 64-bit and 32-bit, you go ahead and download the right edition for your operating system 32-bit or 64-bit one more thing you can see Ruby community recommends using this 2.6 so whenever you're going to download Ruby from this website you will have a recommended version of Ruby to be downloaded by the community so this is what I will go ahead and do there is one more thing that you definitely want to know DevKit so what is DevKit basically and this is kind of extension a native build extension that's that's basically good for Ruby developers and what it does it creates a connection between C and C++ libraries that can be used by Ruby developers and Ruby frameworks like Ruby on Rails so this is why you need this Ruby and DevKit together so this is what it is so if you're a really serious Ruby developer you definitely want to go ahead and download and install DevKit as well however if you just want to learn Ruby you can go with this without DevKit so go ahead and click on this always go with the recommended uh, edition of Ruby version of Ruby 32-bit or 64-bit for your operating system I'm going to click on this 64-bit and download it so I already have downloaded I'm not going to waste your time here I'm going to cancel it and this download is available in my downloads folder so pause the video once your download completes resume the video now locate your download here right click on it and just say open make sure you have enough privileges to install the application otherwise you won't be able to install it then go ahead and say I accept the license and then hit next do not make any change what I'm going to do I'm going to leave it as it is and then hit next basically install do not make any changes over here just say next and this will take some time so you will have to be patient with it uh, it's going to install the Ruby and the tool chain as well from the internet so that's basically huge package almost 800 MB so wait for it and once it's installed and we will resume from there alright so you can see this is almost installed now what it's going to do it's going to install the tool chain using this command prompt the CMD Microsoft Windows CMD irrespective of your operating system windows 7 8 8.1 1 or 10 so now this is going to start it so there are lots of things being installed that you do not need basically this is locale so it's going to install so many languages and ruby docs as well so now what you need to do you simply have to click on this finish and this will run this command and and this is basically for C and C++ extensions and once you get this Ruby installer to 
for Windows just press enter and this is going to take care of everything okay so it will take some time here trust database importing owner trust value refreshing eight keys from this internet URL and we are almost done here okay installing user share info which info okay properly installed and here you see succeeded so what do you need to do basically here it says you just need to restart the shell to apply the necessary action go ahead and restart it now we can go ahead and check if ruby is installed so you simply type ruby space hyphen version and hit enter you can see you've got 2.6 you can also go ahead and check the irb which is ruby interactive shell and this lets you play with this um, ruby like in live so I can simply say hello world and this is going to write hello world it's going to take care of all the arithmetics here so this is how you can use IRB I'm quickly going to write a script Ruby script and run it from this command prompt so what I'm going to do I'm going to go on my desktop and create a folder called rbox just ruby box and then get it into this folder and I'm going to open this with this sublime text this command sub l may not, may not work on your system so you'll have to just open this rbox manually in your preferred editor and create a file so what I'm going to do I'm going to say hello dot rb so rb is ruby's extension dot rb and now we will quickly write hello world kind of application so this is how you create a variable in ruby basically I'm going to say tube min and then I'm going to print it out so you simply say puts and I can say hello and here in you can just type the variable and this will take care of it so this is basically you type basically write the Ruby script and then to execute it you just locate to this particular folder in your command prompt and say Ruby and then the name of the file that you want to execute and here it says hello tubement hello world whatever you want to say so that's it for this video if you have any questions suggestion leave in the comment below I will try to answer it ASAP thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel if you have again any question leave in the comment below bye for now